Okay, well, I'm uh, Martin. Uh, uh, Anne was my mother, and this is her right there. She's mm -hmm. very beautiful. That was her self-portrait done in 19... 84 and uh, Martin and Angie Rowe. <laughs> <laughs> Angie and, and uh, how long we've we been married? 30, 35. 35 years. Good and we were, guys. we were together for six years. So, so she was around my mother just, you know. Oh, wow. oh, oh. She used to call me her girlfriend in law. Oh. <laughs> she was very happy when we got married. Good, good deal. <laughs> um, so, tell me just a little bit about. Um, the show that's coming or the, the the auction that's coming up on Thursday that we're doing. Okay. Well, uh, my mother was a prolific painter. I mean, she, she painted, she uh, painted her whole life and she actually was working on a painting, you know, up until the day she died. And uh, she had a, a, a two bedroom studio in St. Louis that was just packed with, with uh, artwork. And, paintings, uh, drawings, sculpture, sketches, and you know, and after she passed, we had to, you know, what what do we do? And so, uh, her vision was that we would, uh, you know, gather all her artwork up. She had it uh, uh, cataloged and, and I guess priced at some point, but uh, she wanted to have a, a, a charity auction and, and auction off her work. She wanted us to keep whatever we wanted and uh, then she wanted to have a, a an auction to you know to benefit, benefit a charity a, so a charity. SIC will reap the benefits from that so auction. so we thought you know with the new art center at SIC yeah. that would be yeah. a great uh, a venue for uh, you know for her to display and, and sell some it was really like nice. Kelly and Melanie drove up to St. Louis came to Ann's condo I mean we had to get rid of this artwork yeah, yeah. because we had a person interested in buying the condo. Oh wow! So we were kind of it had to move. Under, yeah, it had to move. <laughs> and so they came and picked out what they wanted, and 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 they wanted things that were framed because of the way the art has to hang yes. at yes. the Heist Museum. Yeah. And uh, uh, th there was a lot of stuff left over that was not framed. Got so. it. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you guys for for benefiting the arts here in Saline County. We very much appreciate that. <laughs> well, I, we're, we're fortunate to have, uh, oh. you've, you've seen a lot of her work oh, yeah. in, in the house. So we've, we've benefited ourselves. And, and so we wanted to, yeah. to uh, share some so of. This one is a pastel, which she did not work in pastels very often. Okay. And she created that. Um, she was living in Santa Fe, New Mexico when we got wow. married. And so that's a park in Santa Fe and just some random people that she sketched and then went back and did and the pastel. Did the wow, that's so that beautiful. That was our wedding present from her. That's beautiful. And uh, right before she passed away, she did the little uh, portraits of Martin and I. Um, she was doing, uh, I, she just for some reason decided to do all of her children. And she played around. I mean, her commissioned work was more like her self-portrait. Mm -hmm. It was very traditional. Mm -hmm. um, then she would experiment around. And so those portraits were a new technique she was doing where it was a black background and the color was applied on top of the black. Oh, interesting. Okay. But she um, worked usually from photographs mm -hmm. and sketches. So when she was doing a commissioned piece, she would go to the person's home and you know talk about the lighting, where they wanted to be, indoor, outdoor. How um, they were felt comfortable. Yes. I mean, just you know, in their natural setting. Okay. So she uh, uh, started her career. She was mainly did children. So she. Uh, so she did a ton of children, but then she kind of graduated into doing a lot of adults okay. as well. So, oh, wow. Uh, well, you, you tell. You, <laughs> you, you were tell better than I did. So, um, Anne was an Army brat. Her um, father was a, a how many star? He, he's a one-star brigadier general. Okay. But during World War II, um, he was in this the precursor to the CIA. And so he hid um, his wife and children in North Carolina. And uh, Stephanie's got a picture of that. Um, 
So then they moved out to Colorado where Ann graduated high school. And then she went to Stevens College in Columbia, Missouri, which is where I also went to school, which is very interesting. No wonder she liked you so much. <laughs> <laughs> we were both Steve and Susie's. And uh, then she moved to Kansas City and was doing greeting cards for Hallmark. Oh, wow. And she had met Martin's father, Bert, at Mizzou when she was in Columbia. And I guess he talked her in to moving to Sykeston and getting married. <laughs> okay, so she did commissioned artwork and for a full, you know, head to feet was about ten to twelve thousand dollars. And so she you tell us. Oh the you talk about the yes. Persian lady? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh so the the beautiful uh lady that you'll that you'll see, uh she did a commission and it was a is a wealthy Persian family that lived in Kansas City. So this was from her time in Kansas City. She developed several clients over there. Yeah. Well, the the uh, the husband of this got involved in a, a, a swindle of some sort, and he uh, lost his fortune. And the bank came in and and repossessed all the assets. And one of the assets was that painting. And so uh, this this art collector somehow got hold of it and, and got hold of my mother. And this was probably in 2000, uh, just a couple of years before, about a year before she passed mm -hmm. in 2020 and said that he had uh, acquired this painting and wanted to know if she wanted to buy it back. <laughs> and she goes, no, why would I want that? I've already sold it once, why would I want to buy it back? But then uh, 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 shortly thereafter, uh, she passed away and we found out that the painting was still out there on eBay. And so, uh, so we, we purchased we, it. We, yeah. bought that, we bought that painting. And, and, uh, and I mean, she was very proud of the painting because yeah. she um, had postcards with that painting on them and then on the back, you know, Ann B. Rowe. Yeah. You know, it's like a business card. Business card. Like, yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. business card, yeah. but it was, yeah. you know, more yeah. like a postcard size. Yeah. But, uh, but anyway, that, that the story and the painting is, yeah. is one of my favorites. And you know, yeah. that's one of the, the, the prettiest ladies I've ever. It, it is. It's beautiful. beautiful lady. I'm glad you guys have it back. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, cousin Nana, that mm -hmm. is uh, right before Ann died. Cousin Nana lives out in San Francisco and she's a very free spirit and she likes to do photography uh -huh. of herself doing bizarre things. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Cousin Nana in uh, some kind of frock and was photographing herself with her hair back. And, and but it so, also looks like Anne was kind of experimenting with yes, the new style and that, that was, too. Yeah, so that, that was, was that another. newer style mm -hmm. with the black mm -hmm. background mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so. Beautiful. Was, yeah. And so right before she died, she was working on a very large painting of women that worked in some sort of factory in St. Louis. Oh, wow. And so it was more of a period piece. Mm -hmm. And she had taught her neighbor down the hall in her condo building to paint. And he's a very good painter himself. And so he took that painting and finished it. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. She touched so many lives. She did. So one of the, uh, uh, back in my office, is one of the series that, that I love is little sketches. So my mother loved to uh, travel. And so, so she, uh, you know, the, the pictures, the, the, the ones that did, she did were uh, St. Petersburg, Russia. There was uh, Italy. Uh, uh, some Kansas, France, City, Kansas City, France, but she would uh, go into a, into a bar or a restaurant and just watch people and have her little notebook and uh, and uh, do the sketches, do the sketches, and then make stories, and then make up stories. <laughs> and she was also a prolific writer. Yeah. So we have tons and tons of journals and you'll be reading and she's like writing this story and then she'll jump to what happened yesterday in her life and then there'll be a grocery list. So it was just kind of <laughs> all over. She was 
creative in so many ways. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she did a series of, uh, of, of uh, landscapes. Uh, my father lived, you know, down in uh, Sykes, Missouri. They lived on what they call the North Ridge. And so it was just farmland behind them and it had beautiful sunsets, you know, every evening. And so she did uh, did a series of, of uh, landscapes while, you know, she was caring for him and then Missouri sunsets mm -hmm. and uh, and then she had those uh, turned into uh, prints and so uh, so uh, several of those prints are in uh, Legion's bank branches all over southern Illinois wow. and so her art is just really all over it's oh, it in is. homes it's in businesses it's it's everywhere yes wow and I mean we don't even know where all it is yeah I mean yeah. you know I mean because she made a living doing commissioned art. And then she also just, she was always painting. Yeah. At sketching, um, yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for um, letting me come in and interview you about your mom, Martin. Uh, so tell me a little bit about what's coming up on Thursday, the, the reception on Thursday. So it's out at the El Heiss Museum at the SIC. Uh, it runs from six to eight, but there, the bidding is open right now. And if you go to sic.edu backslash Ann Rowe, it'll take you to the uh, One Cause portal and you can bid. They do have uh, opening bid amounts on most of the pieces. And um, just would love to raise some money for SIC and you could have a piece of money. Yeah, yeah, this is, you know, one of our dying wishes was to you know help you know help art great programs cause. and so this is a great cause and hopefully uh folks will you know like her work and and uh you know and it's it, the pieces out there are very varied yeah. some of them were commissioned pieces that i'm not sure why she had back i don't know <laughs> some of them were just her playing around um I know one of them is one of the drawings that she did when she was in Italy the last oh, time. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I wish that I could have met her, and I am very, very appreciative of you guys donating and helping helping the Thanks. arts in Sling County. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>